it's like to be inside your mother's womb. Have you ever thought about why people have to age? Is it inevitable? You're on the verge of having a life that most people can't even begin to imagine. So wait, what, what the hell are you offering me? You're offering me one pill. So what's it gonna be, Brian? You ready to become somebody who matters? This conversation is here and nowhere else. You describe it to your parents, the FBI, to anyone. I will let you die more painfully than you can fathom. It doesn't look like there's a fast way out here. What if suddenly you knew how much strength you had in your hands? I mean exactly how much. Remember every documentary you ever saw, every trig class. Could you do the math? Could you figure out exactly where that train is going to stop? He knew the train was going to stop. There's an explanation for what you saw today. NZT 48. The program was called off after the first two fatalities. Find him. Someone's killing these guys for their NZT. The first pill I took lasted about 12 hours. I have time to make one more move. I can't tell you who killed them, but I can tell you a lot. It's an arms race. Whoever created NZT may be out there giving it to anybody. But every time he takes it, he basically becomes the smartest person in the world. That's a resource. Let's make it our resource. It's time. It's about time you and me talked. Was it you? No. Annalise, you know I'm not that guy. Besides, I thought it was you. Because I'm that guy? Now what? My name is Rebecca Sutter, and I was murdered. How did a 21-year-old bartender end up dead in the basement of an esteemed law professor's house? To answer that, we need to start at the beginning. The professor, Annalise Keating. This is criminal law 100, or as I prefer to call it, how to get away with murder. She's a brilliant and badass defense attorney, yet has complicated morals. Use the resources in this office, my library, the people who know me even better than myself, my associates. Name's Frank, and unlike every teacher you've had, I do believe there are stupid questions. If you've got them, please see my lovely colleague, Bonnie. Or you could come to us with answers. We'll like you much better that way. The students fear and worship her. I want to be her. Every year, she picks a few suckers, I mean, students to join her team. She calls it opportunity. I call it free student labor. The top student gets this, your immunity idol. The winner can turn this in at any point to get out of an exam. They'll do anything to impress her. How'd you get this? <laughs> it wasn't exactly legal. So you have Michaela, the go-getter, Connor, the bad boy, Laurel, the quiet one, Asher, AKA doucheface, and Wes. The puppy. I only got accepted here two days ago from the waitlist. Wes was my next door neighbor and he had a little crush on me. And when I was arrested for the murder of my best friend, he came to my rescue. Rebecca's got nothing. And isn't that why you do this? Defend people so they get a fair trial? She needs you. That's how I met Annalise and the Keating Five. It was just days ago that Lila Stangard was reported missing by one of her friends at the sorority. The twist here is that Lila, the victim, was having an affair with none other than Sam Keating, Annalise's husband. I love you. I would have loved to be a fly on that wall when she found out. Why is your penis on a dead girl's phone? 
So that pretty much convinced Annalise that her own hubby was the killer. You enjoyed it, didn't you? Strangling her, putting the life go out of her body. Your hand around her neck while you were still inside of her. It's exciting you right now, isn't it? I thought he was hiding proof that might exonerate me. What is this? Why are you here? So one night I went to the Keating house to try to find it. Oh my God. That didn't go so well. Thank you. With Sam dead, they started to think that I was guilty of killing Lila after all. So they basically kidnapped me and held me at Annalise's house. Let's be fair to everyone and figure it out once and for all. Let's finally give Rebecca her day in court. But I wasn't the one who should have been on trial. Turns out it was Annalise's bulldog, Frank. Is that what you think I am? Some freaking hitman? Knowing what these people were capable of, I kind of thought I might be in danger. So when they were all distracted, I stole Michaela's phone and sent a message to someone I trusted. She texted someone, Eggs 911 lawyer's house. What the hell does Eggs 911 even mean? Someone I hoped would help me get out of there alive. Someone I now hope will find the truth of what really happened to me. It's gonna be okay. I don't know. Who killed me? Of course I can't tell you that. But I can promise you'll find out on how to get away with murder. People like to tell me things. Those deep, dark, naughty little desires that are on their mind. I mean, you're not marrying this human stain because you're actually in love with him, right? Oh, God, no. no. Oh, my. I can't believe I just said that. Must be something about this face. Hey, boss. Remember me? Can I have your autograph? Did I sell my soul to the devil? So the devil made you do it, did he? The alcohol and the drugs, the topless selfies. The choices are on you, my dear. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Any witnesses? Lucifer Morningstar. Is that a uh, stage name? God given, I'm afraid. Why don't you tell me something? How does she end up dying in a hailstorm of bullets and you get away without a scratch? The benefits of immortality. What will your corrupt little organization do about this? We're done here. Someone out there needs to be punished. Stop caring. You're the devil. I think you have a visitor. Your return to the underworld has been requested. Let me just uh, check my calendar. Here it is. The 7th of never through to the 15th of ain't gonna happen. How does that work for you guys? <laughs> Try it. You think father's upset now? He will not be merciful for much longer. We should be out there punishing those responsible. Come on, I'll help you. How could you possibly help me? I have the ability to draw out people's forbidden desires. You're psychic or something? No, I can't read people's minds. I'm not a Jedi. Watch and learn, okay? You're thinking about it, aren't you? Do you two know each other? No, no, but I know that look. So I wouldn't recommend it. I'm like walking heroin, very habit-forming. It never ends well. I do yoga. Hot yoga. What did you do to her? Did you roofie her? <laughs> what exactly do you think happens when the devil leaves hell? All of those demons. All of those tormented and tortured souls, where do you think they go? You seem oddly immune to my charms. Referring to them as charms, I think, is a bit of a stretch. Did my father send you? What's your name? Lucifer. Exactly. Agent Patterson, ID number 55609. Updating case file 8348Y. Subject, Jane Doe. Still no further authenticated data on the subject. Found naked and alone in Times Square. Her memory wiped. Her body tattooed with what appear to be encrypted clues to future crimes. Who she is and where she came from is still undetermined.
What we do know, while the subject can't remember her past, she has retained a broad range of high-level abilities, off-the-charts reflexes, hand-to-hand -hand combat. The extent of these skills and how and where she acquired them remain to be determined. While her narrative memories have been obliterated, the subject's procedural memories remain intact, manifesting as required in response to extreme direct stimuli. Example, Jane Doe can hold her breath while remaining active underwater for over four minutes. any arena and by any metric. The subject displays applied knowledge and skills taught only in high-level military training. With indications of extensive experience in active combat and extremely high levels of success. Subjects' mental acuity and cognitive abilities also test in the highest percentiles, with identified fluency in 13 dialects to date. Subjects' value to the agency is immeasurable. The deciphered tattoos from Jane's body and her contributions in the field have already led to the aversion of a terrorist act and the neutralization of the would-be perpetrator. But what's the larger meaning behind the intricate map of Jane's tattoos? And why is lead agent Kurt Weller's name tattooed on her back? Jane Doe will continue to assist as needed on agency operations relating to her case. Her utility on the team is without question. Her identity is still a mystery. Her entire life remains a blind spot. Agent Patterson, signing off. The day I went missing was the day I died. on the inside. Oliver Queen is alive. Darling City resident was found five years after he was missing and presumed dead. What? Get that camera. How do I face... He was the only survivor of the accident that took the lives of seven people. Has he said anything about what happened? I worry that those I left behind won't recognize me. I knew it. I knew you were alive. The island changed me. Tomorrow, you and me, we're doing the city. You've got a lot to catch up on. I'm not the person they remember. 20% of his body's covered in scar tissue. Second degree burns on his back and arms. At least 12 fractures that never properly healed. They thought I was back to my old life. They thought wrong. I'd like you to prepare yourself. The Oliver you lost might not be the one they found. The day Oliver Queen died is the day something new was born. I am Arrow. What was it like there? 
cold. As the storm clouds gather, Oliver. And the lightning strikes. I know that it's too late to say this, but I'm sorry. I couldn't be angry. I couldn't grieve. And the thunder goes. That's what happens when your sister dies while screwing your boyfriend. And I will rise up. And I will rise up. The island forged me into a weapon. And I will use it against the criminal and the corrupt. And I will stand tall. You have failed this city. I'll be a dead man. And I'll suggest that I'm gonna kill you. And I will stand tall. of finding out what my son knows. And I will rise up. And I will rise up. Stay away from me. I'm just gonna hurt you again. This isn't a game. And I will stand on. Nobody can know my secret. What happened to you on that island? A lot. As you all know, there indeed was a body found in the woods last night. If they found the body, then what are they looking for? They only found half. We're going. What if whoever killed the body is still out here? Just making sure you've got everything you need. Everything except a pen. Oh my god, I didn't actually forget a pen. Class, this is our new student, Allison Argent. Thanks. What the hell is going on with you, McCall? Oh, God. You really want to know? Well, so would I, because I can see, hear, and smell things that I shouldn't be able to see, hear, and smell. I do things that should be impossible. I'm sleepwalking three miles into the middle of the woods, and I'm pretty much convinced that I'm totally out of my freaking mind. Do you think maybe you'd like to go to that party with me? Definitely, yes. Is this a party or a date? Maybe both. And her name is? Allison. Allison. Nice. Everything in my life is somehow perfect. Why are you trying to ruin it? You're cursed, Scott. Change can be caused by anger or anything that raises your pulse. All right? I haven't seen anyone raise your pulse like Allison does. You gotta cancel this date. <laughs> Are you okay? I'll be right back. Ah! You did this to me! You and me, Scott, we're brothers now. The bite is a gift. I don't want it. You will. But you'll have to resist crossing a line. And you're gonna need me if you want to learn how to control it. We need to do a lot more than lock me in my room. What, you mean because if you get out, you'd be caught by hunters? I guess if I get out, I think I might kill someone. That's my dad. Miss Chase. Can you please tell us the first thing you remember from the simulation? Where am I? Nobody can remember anything at all about how we woke up here. Then what? I mean, our plane went down? I don't know, I just want to figure this thing out. We haven't seen half the shit this island's gonna throw at us. 
We're gonna die out here. We have to be ready. Or we try to get out of here. It's all about to get a whole lot more intense now. If you do something wrong, the island, it pays you back. Something's off with her. Check her. Get her. Too. I think I'm finally beginning to understand the rules of this place. If you die in there, you're dead out here too. Each choice <laughs> determines the next challenge. You think they've got a chance in there? Not if I got anything to say about it. In a fight for survival. I just remembered my lunch. What does a man do? He fights. And? He looks after his family. That's right. Could you look after our family? Ragnar Lothbrok. You want to sail my ships? Anything else you want from me? And with this boat for the first time, we can go west. We are brothers. You and I will always be equal. What if we both die? Then who would take care of the children? to the West. God bless. I don't want her part of our world. You're not protecting her, Jocelyn. You're deceiving her. Mom, I don't want to do this. Hush, little baby. Kill the guy. You may run. The protections are wearing off. You need to know the truth. Mom, what the? You're more powerful than you know. Mom, remember, I love you. What's happening? Mom! I'd like to speak to Jocelyn's daughter. What? No, thank you for saving your life. We're shadow hunters. We protect the human world from the demon world. She's in more danger than you can possibly imagine. You're one of us. I'm not interested in your supernatural fight club. Which is what makes you so interesting. No! I'm ready.